Hi, my name is Devin Cornelius. I'm one of the co-photo directors for the CSU Collegian. Um, today, we'll be going over how to shoot a sporting event. We'll be covering how to set up your camera, um, what settings you should use at the event, and specific shots to look for. So, what makes shooting sports so much fun is, honestly, for me, it's the energy. It's super fun to be down courtside um, while listening to all the fans scream and watching your like team succeed. It's pretty popular to shoot sports, especially football, some of like the major ones because you get the most coverage. One of the most important things for shooting sports is to make sure you have your camera and then also make sure that you include a charged battery and an SD card that's formatted for your camera. Um, today we'll be shooting with the 50 to 150. It's a Sigma lens, it's a 2.8 and it's especially important to have a 2.8 lens when you're shooting inside Moby because the lighting is a little dim. So if you don't have any gear that you can use, be sure to check some out from the newsroom because we do have gear for you. And make sure that you also have a press pass for the event. Um, just let your photo director know what event you want to shoot and they should be able to get you a press pass for it. And you should be able to go to the West Wing in Moby and pick up your press pass there. So after you pick up your press pass, you wanna to head to the press room, which is, should be like right next to it. Um, in there, you're able to leave all your stuff. It's pretty secure, there's security guards out front, so you won't have to worry about losing anything. Um, after you get all your gear set up in there, you should head out to the court and just make sure that all your settings are correct. So let's do that now. So today we'll be shooting at 2500 with 2.8 aperture and a 2500 ISO. Um, we want to make sure that we keep our shutter speed high so that we can freeze the action as it's happening to make sure that our photos don't come out blurry or a little out of focus. We also want to make sure that the photo as a whole is evenly bright so that it is visually appealing when it comes out in the paper. If you're feeling really comfortable, you can definitely shoot more creatively. You want to make sure you also get a variety of angles in your shots so they don't all look the exact same because that's not very visually compelling to see the same shot over and over again. So I've decided to shoot with another lens that I have. Um, this is a 300. It's also a 2.8, but it's a prime lens. Uh, the reason I'm shooting for this is because I can shoot across the court pretty easily. And if I ever need to shoot like through the net, um, I can do that as well. It's really great for getting like close-ups on a player. So if you know that there's someone who's always celebrating or is like always like cheering or something, it's really nice to be able to just go right in onto them. And typically I do actually like to shoot with both lenses at the same time. Sounds a little weird, but uh, usually I will start by shooting with my normal lens and I'll just have the 300 with me just in case I ever need to use it. You also want to be sure when you're shooting that you're not in anyone's way because it's probably the worst feeling in the world to have another photographer like standing in front of you. So being courteous to the people that are around you is definitely something important to do. And it also helps build relationships. One final thing that I like to do as like a little tip for like housekeeping is I just want to make sure that if I ever have like a photo that I really enjoy, I uh, mark it on my camera. Uh, yeah, I just set a rating for it so that when I'm going back over my photos later that night, I actually can uh, find the one that I know stick out to me. And at the end of the game, um, you wanna make sure that you go into the press room and you get your photos uploaded. Uh, we generally recommend getting them in within an hour so that they can be edited by the night editor and then like published on digital and uh, on print if we're having print that day as well. So just remember, like when you first come in, you wanna make sure that you get your press pass. Um, you wanna make sure that you have all your camera equipment so you can shoot that day. Um, when you get in there, you wanna check your settings, check your cards, check your batteries, just to double check everything, make sure everything's working well. Um, you wanna get a variety of shots and uh, be sure to get action shots and emotion at the same time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something about shooting sports photography here with The Collegian. Be sure to check out our news coverage video and our environmental portraits video as well. See you next time.